So are you going to actually video it? Yeah, and say your title. That'd be perfect. Hi, I'm, I'm Craig Hogan, and I'm a professor at the University of Chicago, and I am the director of the Fermi Lab Center for Particle Astrophysics. And I'm going to read this um, sad eulogy for the Tevatron. Let us not forget that even on this sad day, Fermi's spirit smiles upon us and our achievements. Let us not forget our ancestors, Fermi's magnet and slack. It is both just and proper that they should have the honor of the first mention on an occasion like the present. They dwelt in the country without break in the succession from the electron generation to the tau generation and handed it down free to the present time by their valor. I doubt if the world can produce an accelerator who, where she has only herself to depend upon, is graced by so happy a versatility as the Tevatron. And, this, and that this is no mere boast thrown up for the occasion but plain matter of fact, as the center of mass energy acquired by these habits proves. For the Tevatron alone of her contemporaries is found when tested to be greater than her reputation by finding the Higgs in meta-analysis of her data, and alone gives no occasion to her assailants to blush at the antagonist by whom they have been worsted, or to her subjects to question her title by merit to rule. Let us not forget that our European adversaries were bested by a gall and loaf of bread. Rather, the admiration of the present and succeeding ages will be ours, since we have not left our power without witness, but have shown it by mighty proofs, and far from needing a Homer for our panegyrist, or other of his craft whose verses might charm pork for the moment, only for the impression which they gave to melt at the touch of fact, we have forced every sea and land to be the highway of our daring, and everywhere whether for evil or for good, have left extremely perishable top corks behind us. <laughs>